हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर यूटिलाइजिंग योर वेकेशंस फॉर योर ई लर्निंग दैट इज थ्रू द वीडियोज दैट योर टीचर्स आर सेंडिंग यू थ्रू द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर डूइंग वेरी वेल हेयर आई एम अगेन विद एन अदर वीडियो एक्सप्लेनिंग यू सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन होप यू विल एंजॉय द वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू लर्न द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन so let us start our today's video here i have written some points about the addition some of you may be knowing these points from your previous class but let us revise once again first point i have written that the number that are added are known as addends and we get their sum i have written the numbers that are added are known as addends and we get their sum beta ji most of you while adding the numbers we always used to say that this is number 1 this is number 2 this is number 3 but these are not in numbers we have the term addends to represent the numbers for the addition example if i want to add 20 plus 30 plus 10 so here 20 is 20 is add in number 1 and 30 is add in number 2 and 10 is add in number Three, and what we will get? We will get their sum, not a answer. We will get their sum. Twenty plus thirty is fifty. Fifty plus ten is sixty. So sixty is a sum. Sixty is a sum, not a answer. Remember the name of the terms that the numbers that are used for addition are known as addends, and we are getting their sum. Now come to the point number second. I have written. If we change the position of our addends, even then our sum remains the same. अगर हम अपने addends की positions को change करते हैं तो भी हमारे sum पे कोई effect नहीं आता Let us take an example. Suppose I want to add, I want to add टू हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड वी गेट द सम थ्री हंड्रेड If suppose I change the position of addends, I make hundred as the addend one and two hundred as the addend two. Even then, our sum will be sum will be three hundred. So there is no effect. You can see two hundred plus hundred is also three hundred, and hundred plus two hundred is also three hundred. There is no effect on the positions of the addends. Coming to the point number three, I have written if we add zero to a number, then we get the same number as the sum, and its vice versa is also true. Once again, we will read if we add zero to a number, then we get the same number as the sum, and its vice versa is also true. Let it. Let me explain with an example. Suppose I want to add zero plus twenty, then we get the sum equals to twenty. And twenty plus zero is also twenty. So it's vice versa. यानी कि उसका उल्टा पुल्टा भी सही है. क्यों है ये सही? Because we have already studied in the point number two that if we change the position of your of our addends, even then our sum remains the same. Now coming to the point number four. In addition, if addends are same, then we get sum equals to the product of addend. and the number of time it is repeated and the number of time it is repeated once again in addition if addends are same then we get sum equals to the product of addend and the number of time it is repeated let us explain it with a example suppose my first addend number is 10 my first addend number is 10 then again i have to add 10 Then again, my addend number three is also ten. What the sum will be? Ten plus ten, twenty. Twenty plus ten is equals to thirty. How many times ten is there? Three times. So in another way, I can find the sum like this: ten multiply three. That is also thirty. That is also thirty. What I have done here is. I have taken the addend. I have taken the addend ten, and the number of time it is repeated. How many times it is? It has been repeated three times. So I have written three. Then we get the product of addend and the number of time it is repeated. That is thirty. As I have written, 
adding and the number of time it is repeat these are the some points about the addition these are some points we have studied about the addition now let us study about the subtraction now beta ji i have written some points about the subtraction also let us start with the point is the number from which we subtract a number is is minuend and the number that is subtract is subtrahan and we get their difference normally we we in our normal language we used to say that this is the number 1 this is the number 2 and we get the difference we get the difference but beta ji it is not so let us take an example suppose i want to subtract 100 from 200 i want to subtract 100 from 2 100 so we will not call 200 a number or a 100 a digit or a number there is a proper term used for these numbers 200 will be known as minuend 200 will be known as minuend and 100 will be known as subtrahend and 100 will be known as subtrahend and we get their difference we get their difference here 100 is the difference not a solution or a answer it is known as difference so the number from which we subtract is known as minuend and the number that is subtracted is known as subtrahend and we get their difference now let us come to the point number 2 if minuend is any number and subtrahend is zero then we get difference equal to minuend but its vice versa is not true if minuend is any number and subtrahend is zero then we get difference equals to minuend but its vice versa is not true let us take an example suppose i want to subtract 0 from 50 i want to subtract 0 from 50 here 50 is minuend and 0 is subtrahend we get difference equals to 50 that is equals to minuend that is equals to minuend but it's vice versa yani ki iska ulta sahi nahi hai kaise if i would like to subtract 50 from 0 50 from 0 then it is not possible for you to subtract 50 from the 0 it is possible but in further classes in higher classes we will talk about the negative integer here it is not possible for you okay now come to the point number 3 in subtraction it is not possible to change the position of minuend and subtrahend in subtraction it is not possible to change the position of minuend and subtrahend why it is not possible in addition we are changing the position of addends but in subtraction we can't change the position of minuend and subtrahend why suppose let us take an example if i want to subtract 50 from 250 i want to subtract 50 from 250 i would get the answer 200 i would get the answer 200 here 250 is minuend and 50 is subtrahend here 250 is minuend and 50 is subtrahend and we are getting 200 as a difference suppose if i change the position of subtrahend and minuend 50 minus 250 then what we will get we will get nothing we will get nothing so it is not possible in the subtraction to change the position of minuend and subtrahend let us come to the point number 4 if minuend and subtrahend are same then we get difference equals to 0 if minuend and subtrahend are same then we will get the difference equals to 0 let us take an example how it is possible so if suppose i talk about the minuend i have taken 100 as a minuend and 100 as a subtrahend why because i have taken minuend and subtrahend are same then we will get the difference equals to 0 we will get the difference of equals to 0 here minuend is also 100 and subtrahend is also 100 so difference is equals to 0 difference is equals to 0 these are the some basic points about the subtraction i am sending two or three worksheet also with these video try to solve these worksheet also hope you will understand the basic concept of addition and subtraction